Palante. And yeah. for Palante, making his second time facing the Cubs. So that's the first time he's seen a team twice this year. It's just his fourth start overall. And he has got a big weight on his shoulders. 0-2. Oh, and he starts things off, a breaking ball strikeout for Andre Palante. Kyle Hendricks is one of just three players left from that 2016 team. He made the, he was the opening day starter for the team three years running, but as you see, he's really struggled so far this year. He's a precision pitcher. He doesn't overpower guys. His average fastball velocity is the lowest across the majors this season. Goldschmidt on the ground. Wisdom scoops it off the dirt, across, and we're going three up, three down on both sides. Through one and scoreless, you're watching Friday Night Baseball. Wisdom, a first round draft pick for St. Louis back in 2012 out of St. Mary's College. Hard hit, this one will beat Arenado into left and a single. Patrick Wisdom breaks this one up, the first base hit, and he leads off the second. Nico Horner, the shortstop, he's driven in 20 runs on the season. Four for his last eight. One, two, a drive out to left field. Brendan Donovan is back, it's in the stands. Nico Horner sends him home. His fourth of the season, it's 2-0 Cubs. It's been almost a month since his last long ball, but he makes it count here. Juan Yepes, the designated hitter this evening for St. Louis. 279, he's got six long balls. 3-2, a drive into shallow left center. Two Cubs out and trying to avoid a collision here. Yepes is now caught in the middle. He tries to get to second. We're gonna have a little tango here, but no dice for Yepes. He had 3,284 hits to catch AP. But the Cardinals aren't going to get it done here. Cubs with the lead after two. And back to the top of the order for Christopher Morell. A little looper into right field. There's a base hit. Morell goes the other way, got jammed, able to muscle it to the opposite side. It's a one out single. This is a switch hitting Dylan Carlson stands in, batting from the left side against the righty Hendricks. And he held on to it. Carlson swings through. Andre Palante back out for another round of work. Here's a swing and a line drive. Left center field. There's a base hit. Over to pick it up is Donovan. Horner is two for two with a homer and now a single. He's hit the ball hard twice. Marmol admitted it's a competition. Ball lifted into center field. They're going to let it drop. Another base hit for the Cubs. Jan Gomes is aboard. Contreras looking for his first hit. Again, 11 pitches. He drew a walk in the third. Contreras, and there it is. A hit into left field. Morrell moves station to station. And Cubs put another two aboard. Hat batting 421 against St. Louis this year. Hap a drive to left center field. Bader's not going to get to this one. Morrell digs around. Stretches for second RBI double. Ian Happ extends the lead 3-0. 36th run Happ has driven in this season. As again, he has had quite himself the last 12 games batting 405. That's his seventh extra base hit in the span. The seventh run he's also driven in. Well, Hope hitters are showing great discipline tonight. A lot of guys staying, make, making Pulante throw strikes. Cap shoots this ball to the left center field gap. His second opportunity with a couple runners on base. He's able to take advantage this time and get the run in, keep the line moving. Just a beautiful swing right there. Split the gap. Field draws in. Ground ball, and it works. The play comes home in a rundown, and Kisner gets the tag. They take out Wilson Contreras on the play. Everybody drawn in. Tommy Edmond was ready. Walk for Horner. He came in 7 for 15 against the Cardinals this year. Walk loads the bases for Jan Gomes. Jan Gomes chops this one back to third. Arenado only played a first. And they get it done. So Pallante hits a career high for pitches. But it's the Cubs with a 3-0 lead on Friday Night Baseball. 
to the do-it-all man, Brendan Donovan. Donovan thought he had the walk on that one. Gets rung up by Chris Siegel instead. And that's going to be a slow walk back. Absolutely unbelievable night. And the strikeout again for Kyle Hendricks. He picks up two in the inning as the Cardinals can't find an answer for Kyle. Tommy Edmond steps in. Edmond 0 for 2 on the night. Pitch on the way from McKendrick. There's a line drive, and that's a base hit in the right field. Tommy Edmond. With only the second Redbird hit of the evening. So a two out single in the right field. And the next pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. High fastball got him. Six shutout innings for Kyle Hendricks. We go to the seventh. Cubs three, Cardinals nothing. Rebus out to center field. Harrison Bader, the man has got it again. Flash the gold glove. Bader does it all. He gets there in plenty of time. It makes the really tough plays just look so good. And this is great right here. So much anticip anticipation in making this play as a center field. Being able to see the ball off the bat, make the perfect line to the ball, straight line, make the play. And he makes it look easy, but that's a tough play for a lot of center fielders. But he made that play because he was anticipating the swing and anticipating where the ball is going to go. But for the Cubs, they call on David Robertson. He's 8 for 11 in save opportunities this season. Right at the bottom of the zone, a strikeout for David Robertson, and he gets it done. The Cubs shut out the Cardinals 3-0 in the first of this three-game series. Absolutely unbelievable.